Hey traders, welcome back to Tiffany Trades Options. My name is Tiffany and I love to trade stock options. Today is Friday, August 21st. It's about 11.23 a.m. I wanted to make a quick video today to check in with you guys and see how everyone's doing with their trading, give you a couple of quick account updates and introduce a new options trading strategy for your consideration and um, we'll go from there so it's been a few weeks since i last posted and i i did put on a couple of plays in the tiffany trades options account i opened up another spy put credit spread and a um, q's put credit spread and i collected about 50 percent of the profit so that's why you see a little bit of activity on the trade log here um, i've included it on the transaction history in the back as well and this is all linked in the description below so if you want to check it out please feel free Consistent with past practice, I deposited the $250 monthly de monthly deposit. And so in total, the account has um, $1,750 of personal money deposited with $608 of credit collected since March 27th. And the return on capital is about 35%. So today I wanted to show you a little bit of a different trade that I have done in the past. I, this this account has been primarily put credit spreads because I like selling selling credit. I don't like paying for anything unless um, I'm absolutely sure that the call or the stock is going to go in the direction that I want it to. So I'd rather collect money up front. And previously, put credit spreads have been doing really well for this account. I showed you how to do a call debit spread. I showed you how to do an iron condor. And if you look back on a couple of those videos, you'll know that that specific iron condor went awry and then I had to make some changes and I, I got out profitable but it wasn't ideal um, so I want to talk about the wheel strategy this is something that um, traders like to implement it's it's very straightforward and it's very easy and I haven't done it in this account before so I wanted to show you what that looks like and and it's really simple and the summary is you sell a naked put on a stock that you have no problem owning in your account keeping in mind the amount of cash that you have. So I'm going to do this on a, on a very low price stock, but the key is you have to be comfortable with the fact that this stock could potentially be assigned to you and it, you might be, be holding on to it for a little while. Um, so sell a put on a stock that you have no problem owning. So you'll collect the, pre the premium. Preferably if you can, the stock may also pay a dividend. You, that's another um, way that you can get some extra money out of it, but it's not entirely necessary. So when you do that, you can sell your, your naked put at 30 to 60 days expiration consistent with past practice. And at expiration, if the option expires out of the money, then you keep 100% of the premium and then you just turn around and you sell another put. You can do it on the same stock or you can do it on something totally different. It just really depends on what your personal preference is. If at expiration, the option expires in the money, then the stock will get assigned to you and then you'll have 100 shares of that particular stock. And then what you do is you just turn around and you sell a covered call. So this is like, you can sort of think about it as spokes on a wheel. You sell a put, and that's one spoke, gets assigned to you. Sell call, it's another spoke, and it just keeps turning around and around and around until the stock either gets called away or you just continue to sell calls on it or you just continue to sell naked puts. And so it's pretty straightforward. A couple of things that you want to take into consideration, though, when you are implementing the wheel strategy is the strike price that you want to um, sell your naked put at. The questions that you probably want to ask yourself are, do you want more premium? If so, then you might want to pick a higher strike price. Do you want a lower risk of assignment? If so, then you want to pick a lower strike price. Um, some folks out there say that you want to aim to try to collect 1% of the stock's price. That's also a personal preference. It's not entirely mandatory, but you kind of want to put yourself in a situation where the premium is worth it for taking on the, the possible risk of assignment. And so one thing to keep in mind, so I, this account does not have that much money in it and that's totally fine. And this is just a demonstration to show you that even if you are a smaller account, you can still do trades and you can still trade options um, just fine. It'll just take you a little bit longer to grow your overall portfolio. And so I have been exploring the stocks that I think would be good candidates and knowing sort of what has been going on in the market generally and um, just knowing the stock specifically, I was thinking about doing this in Bank of America. It, this little indication is that it'll pay dividend in 12 days. Um, 
And so I had been checking out the strike prices and the expirations and um, I'm going to sell a naked put in Bank of America 56 days out. If I sell it at the 24 strike, then I can collect about 106 in premium. If I sell at the 23 strike, then that will be 71 cents in premium. And, and like I said, if it's, you want to collect more premium, then you want to go for a higher strike. If you want a lower risk of assignment, then you go for a lower strike. You could, and this is entirely up to you, if you feel very bullish on the idea of Bank of America, for example, right now it's 24.97. It's only three cents off of the 25 strike, and you think that Bank of America has a very good probability of exceeding the 25 strike by expiration. You can sell just slightly in the money. I really wouldn't go any further than that, um, and you can collect a little bit more credit. So that is something to consider, and if you wanted to check out the charts to see if that assumption will work for you, then that's something that you can do as well. But you can see right here, that Bank of America has been hanging out a little bit under the 25 strike for the last several months, but previously it had been, you know, well into the 30s. So Bank of America does have a good possibility for recovery. It's not going to happen overnight, but it is something to consider when you're um, deciding which stock that you want to open up the wheel strategy in. Bank of America's earnings are on October 14th, which makes selling it on the 16th ideal because then you get a little bit more premium. Bank of America also does sell have a dividend. And so if this stock was assigned to me at any point, I would try to schedule selling the call around somewhere around the dividend to try to capture the dividend payment, which would be $18, and then um then sell a call following receipt of that payment so that I can collect some additional premium. So there's, there are three ways that you can make money off of Bank of America in a will strategy, and that would be selling a naked put. If it gets assigned, sell a covered call, and then also collecting the dividend. Some people will say that you should sell cash secured puts. This is entirely dependent on your account. This is a margin account, so I'm not going to reserve $2,500 in cash when I open up this trade, but I am going to ensure that I have at least that much money in my account if the stock is assigned to me. And after I implement this trade, I will hopefully have about that much. And then, you know, I'll have the $250 monthly payment that I'll deposit later in September. So I am going to sell at the 25 strike just for demonstration purposes. If Bank of America is assigned to me at the 25 strike, I will be totally fine with that. And I will turn around and try to sell a covered call at the 25 strike. Or if Bank of America at that point exceeds 25, then I'll try to sell it for a little bit higher. But so we're going to do this today. If opening this trade, this is a little bit different than the the credit spreads I'd sell, sold in the past where I will collect $152 in credit. My buying power is going to be reduced by $535. But remember, this is a naked put. And as I said in my previous video about selling naked puts, this number will fluctuate depending on Bank of America, its price, volatility, and what's happening in the market. So while I will be reduced by $500 today, it's possible that this number tomorrow might be slightly different and then maybe even next week or then a uh, few weeks after that it'll be slightly different. It could go up or it could go down. It really just depends on what is happening with the stock itself. So this is just a quibble over a penny. I'm, I don't mind going down just one cent just to get this filled. Um, if the bids and the asks were wider than this, then I probably would just let it let it sit and work. But I just want to get this filled today just for purposes of this video. Okay, so I have one short put on Bank of America at the 25 strike. The expiration is October 16th, which is 56 days away. I collected $150 in credit, and I'm going to... Let's see what happens. If Bank of America is below 25 by October 16th, then I'm going to let this get assigned and I'm going to turn around and I'm going to show you how I sell a covered call on Bank of America and further um, continue the wheel strategy. The total cash balance right now is $2,506.65. So that is enough to cover 
this if it is assigned. And look, right now it's just slightly at, or just at $25. So we'll see what happens over the next few weeks. That is about it for me. I don't want to get too long and rambly. If there is anything that you want to see me cover, please do let me know. Drop it in the comments below. Send me an email. I'd be happy to answer questions for you. Um, there's a lot of content out there. There's a lot of um, topics to cover. So I want to make sure that I'm giving you something that you want to hear about. Um, and with that, I just need to hear from you to make sure I give you the right quality content. If you've made it this far, you know that I appreciate you very much. I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you found any value in this video, please do me a favor and leave a comment. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, make sure that you select the bell and the all, the all option so that you're notified every time a Tiffany Trades Options video is released. All right. Thanks. Have a great weekend, everyone. Bye.